Hey everyone, this is Steve from Publish Press. If you want to improve your WordPress publishing, you should get the Publish Press plugins. In this video, I'm going to be talking about WooCommerce, which is by far the most popular e commerce plugin for WordPress. And specifically, I'm going to be talking about orders. We're going to be talking about who can see the orders on your site. And we're going to be talking about how you can change that. Maybe you want to create a single user with access only to see the orders. They won't be able to edit products or mess with anything else on your site. We're going to be talking about those topics in this video. To get started, let me show you who can actually see orders on your site. I'm logged in as an administrator and I've set up another couple of users as well. I have a plugin which allows me to quickly switch between accounts. So I'm going to switch to an editor, which is normally a pretty high level user on a WordPress site. As an editor, I have no access to WooCommerce whatsoever. Let me take a look at a user who is a customer. If I switch to a customer, I'm not even allowed into the admin area. I'm completely kicked out to the front end of the site. The only other person who is able to access WooCommerce is someone who is in the shop manager role. That's it. Administrators and shop managers. Let me test someone who is in the shop manager role. There we go. We have access to orders in WooCommerce. So by default, only those people can access WooCommerce and WooCommerce orders and they can access all of it. So there's no middle ground. You can't create someone who can only access orders and no other part of WooCommerce. Fortunately, you can fix that. And I'm going to recommend a plugin called Publish Press Capabilities. So I'm going to add a new plugin. I will search for capabilities. And this is a really popular plugin. It has over 100,000 installs, and that would allow us to customize what users can do on our site. So if you want to follow along, you can grab this plugin for free from wordpress.org. And once it's installed, you should see capabilities available in the left-hand admin menu. A few moments ago, I tested a user in the editor role. Now I'm going to promote them so that they can have access to WooCommerce orders. In the top right corner, I can select the role that I'm going to work with. Okay, so I have editor selected and you should see a row now for orders. You can do something very similar for both products and coupons in WooCommerce. But in this video, we're gonna be talking about orders. So I'm gonna check the box that allows people in the editor role to edit orders. And I'm also going to check this box as well to read private orders. So those are the two key changes that will allow the editor to have access to orders on the site. I'm gonna to go to the users area. I will go to this user who is an editor. And now orders by itself is the only thing they can access in WooCommerce, but they can access them. Did you notice what happened there? At the moment, this user is not allowed to actually edit and change the orders. They can, however, view them. So what I've just shown you is a visual permission. These users can come in, they can look at the orders, and they may be able to fulfill them. This role would be ideal for a user who just needs to log into the site and maybe package up the orders and send them out. You don't quite trust them enough to be editing and making changes to the order. However, what if you did want these users to also be able to log in and make changes to orders made on your site? Well, let's go back to the admin role and let's go back to the capability screen. I'm going to be choosing the editor role again. And you'll see that there are more options available when it comes to orders. 
you can control what they can edit and what they can delete as well. The key item that we're going to change is edit others. The reason that they weren't able to edit any of the orders was because those orders were not their own. Let me save those changes and see what happens to my editor user. I'm going to switch back to their account. I will go to WooCommerce and orders. And now I am able to log in and I can make changes. For example, moving an order from pending to completed. And I can change some of the customer information. You'll notice that some features are still disabled for this user. For example, there would often be a trash link here, which would allow the user to delete an order. They are not able to do that yet. We don't trust them enough to be deleting and removing information about orders on our site. If we change our mind about that, we can go back to our admin account. And I'm going to go to Capabilities, and I'm going to choose Editor. And in the Deletion Capabilities area, I'm going to check these boxes for the editor. Let me see my WordPress site through their eyes one more time. Here's my demo user. I'm going to switch to what they see. And now when it comes to orders, I can see them, I can edit them, and I can trash them as well. So if you are using WooCommerce, then I highly recommend using the Publish Press Capabilities plugin to customize the user permissions whenever you need to. The plugin is completely free to download from WordPress.org. It has over 100,000 users, and there is a pro version available as well from PublishPress.com, which has even more features.